This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today, we're still here in the garage, but I'm going to show you some neat things about setting up the heading sensor and how you do it in the Onyx. When the, you use the GPS HS with an Onyx system, it actually looks at the receiver as two devices. A GPS location device and a heading sensor device. What we're going to do is use our handy dandy compass, line up the boat, line up our true heading on our Onyx system over here by using the, the offset that's built into the unit. We can set this up so it's perfectly north-south reference in our unit as we go out on the water. So if we're setting on a spot, we know exactly where north is and the GPS so it can make it easier for you to help catch fish. So let's jump in here. We're going to set the boat up. We're going to set the unit up and show you some of the advanced features and steps on how to use the Onyx and the heading sensor and GPS location data of an external GPS HS receiver from Humminbird to get more avionics and be more precise and pinpoint on both the console and the bow. Now here's the easy way to take your, our, our compass. We can see that north has pretty much set it that way is I'm going to set it right here on the tongue and if you see there's going to be a dial there. You can dial that in and we can see that north is a hair off here. It's not straight. What I can do is I can take my boat and I can get that tongue where it's straight with our keel. Basically the center of the tongue is going to run right underneath the keel so if you set this up That'll give you a way when you go, when we get into the units here, we can actually set it up for the, basically the way the boat is setting, that it'll be basically straight north and south. Now that we're at the unit, this is going to show you some advanced setup features of the heading sensor. We can see the boat is pointed here just a tad to the right. We've got our boat pretty much set up in the garage straight north. And I've done that with a compass on the tongue to get the north reference very close so I could show you on this video. What we want to do is we're going to come over here to home screen. I'm going to show you a couple quick tips here real quick. We'll go down here to the widgets and we're going to come over here to GPS. GPS 1, you need to make sure that it's in auto config is off and that you've selected external GPS HS. That is our heading sensor GPS. The internal would be the one in the unit. The external is the one we've mounted on the transom here. Um, when you come back from that, we'll come over here to settings. Uh, you'll want to come down to network. When you select network, you're going to come to data sources. And when you come to data sources, we're going to come to GPS1 vessel data. This will also show that same receiver is connected. We've got it off. We've got the external selected here. So we're going to come back out. Our heading is our next thing we want to look at. We've got auto config off. We're looking at the NEMA 0183 number one device. That is our heading sensor. We're looking at each component separate in an Onyx system. Go to network. We're going to come down here to sensor port. Sensor port is where we need to come in to make the adjustments. Um, NEMA 0183, here is where you can look at sensor type. We've got a GPS heading with pitch and roll. Just to make sure that is there, but we want to come to data offsets. We come down here to a heading adjustment. Heading adjustment allows us to tweak that heading sensor. We're going to select five degrees, negative five degrees, come back out and look at the line. We were about five degrees off, maybe we're really close there, maybe four and a half. So if I come back to home, come back to settings, come back up to network, our sensor port, 0183, data offsets, we're going to come down here, we're going to select 4.5 degrees off and look at that that is pretty close to being dead on that is how you can set the 
heading sensor orientation to the boat. If it's a tweaked a little bit off, you can set this up and it's going to be dead on accurate. The thing that I look at is the boat position versus the heading line. The heading line is being drawn from the GPS data and the boat position, but we can see our boat pointed exactly straight up. So we've got it set up for the screen. Um, now we can go fishing. Now I'm going to jump up on the bow and show you how to make sure that the exact same things that we're sharing this to the front. So let's jump up there and take a look there. Now setting up the remote or what on this boat the bow unit uh, is basically going to be the second unit using the heading sensor. Um, it's not connected to this unit, it's connected to the console unit, so we're actually going to subscribe to the sensor that's hooked to the uh, console unit. The console unit will need to be on to use the heading sensor, but if we look up here, we do not have the heading sensor. We've actually got a GPS receiver that we've external, just a regular one hooked to this unit, or you could use the internal unit. Um, we'll go back to the house again to the home page. Settings there is where we need to go. Uh, you'll come down to network here. We're going to go over to data sources for our source settings. Uh, we'll come down and I'll just show you the GPS. The GPS, we are using the external GPS hooked to this unit, which is just a AS GPR uh, standard Humminbird trans, uh, GPS receiver or we could use the um, internal if we check none because that would be the unit the internal in this unit you need to make sure that auto config is off if we wanted to subscribe to the GPS portion location data of the rear unit we could subscribe to it through the external or the internal of that unit we want to use the GPS receiver that we have connected here to the bow so we're going to exit out of here. We're going to come down to heading. Heading allows us to subscribe to that heading sensor uh, data. And what we have to do is this is the front unit. This is our back unit. So I'm going to have to subscribe to the NEMA 0183 device. Make sure the auto config is off. And then we're going to exit. We're going to come down here to sensor port. NEMA 0183. This is the same thing we had before where we come to data offset. Data offset is going to be done by the back unit. If we come out here, we can see our heading sensor is very close to being straight up and down. Our, our heading is actually far as the boat is pointed towards the north of the screen. Uh, we do have north up. Um, I recommend setting this with north up so you're not having to figure out rotational from the um, GP, the heading or course up. Set it to north up to set the to dial in this heading sensor, then come back and then you can use your course up, heads up, or north reference, however you prefer. But to get it set up, set it up with the north up on the unit. So we're subscribing to the GPS location data from the bow. We're getting our heading sensor data from the transom of the boat with the external receiver hooked to the console. I hope that helped you learn a little bit more about the Onyx heading and using the external GPS HS heading sensor and how to set it up and how to fine tune it so you're perfectly accurate when you're out on the water using this heading sensor to help you locate offshore structure, stay on your waypoints. It's a really good tool and accessories to add to your Onyx. And we showed you how to install it in another previous tips and tricks. And today we showed you how to fine tune it, set it up and get it ready so you can get more benefit out of your Humminbird Onyx system. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time as we go more in depth about these awesome products that I'm able to represent. If you got questions, leave them as a comment. Make sure you share with your friends. And thank you, and tune in next time, and see you on the water.